Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today we'll be taking a look at a special fan made edit for Dreamcatcher's 4th anniversary. So who would have known that, well I probably should have known, but two of my favourite girl groups have an anniversary in the same week. So we've had G Friends and uh, my favourite girl group, Dreamcatcher, I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but they are my favourite favourite group. And one of the great great Dreamcatcher channels that do fan edits, it's Omnissi, put together a short little video just to celebrate the four years that we've had with the girls so far. I expect more. Just like a lot of groups that contracts are coming towards an end, there's a few bands that I can I, I can just see sticking together and just been together a lot longer. Maybe they might not have as many comebacks as a group. They might do some individual things, but I can see them being together. And Dreamcatcher is definitely one of those that I do think hasn't hit their peak yet. Their popularity has grown exponentially in 2020. Their record sales doubled and doubled again within just 2020 alone and I do see great things coming for them so let's have a quick look at this. <laughs> I doubt this loud group of girls. 걸그룹으로 살아남기가 힘들잖아요. 조금 더 재미를 주기 위해 저희가 악몽이라 컨셉을 선택하게 되었습니다. I do like the fact that they've not changed much. 어 무대 너무 멋있다고. Like they're still rocking, they're still dancing. They do have a lighter moment. Like you do see different bands like every comeback and different sound. That's one of the things I like most about the group. Stuck with it and starting to pay off. Just listen to that instrument on the background. You just listen to their songs instrumentally. It's still amazing. I might not have won any shows or big awards, but globally, a well known, recognised, respected, and I think it's just that it feels like it's just getting there. South Korean, like that, the sound that they have, the concept. You see a lot of more girl crushy vibes. And they fit. And the videos are. They might not have the budget like some companies. But they're amazing. Wow. These are really emotional little videos, these. You don't know much of the girls other than their music. Their personality is just <laughs> super sweet, loud. Underwear Minx that have been stuck around with Minx these days. Underwear they I'm glad they went this route. That was my first music video. You and I pulled me right in. What is different than my favorite songs? Deja Vu. Possibly one of my favorite instrumentals I've ever heard, no matter what genre. This is where it all started going big. I feel it's getting there. 100,000 sales. Boca. Hot comes back. Come back comes. In a week's time. If you don't know much about them, honestly, I'll put a link to the channel, well to this, oh, to uh, this channel below, because the 
they do really great edits of their video lives and everything just compact little versions and you can just see what an absolute mess chaotic fun times they have together really really fun so that's Dreamcatcher four years I've known about them since 20 2018 like October October November it was just literally two weeks after I played in London in 2019 and I will forever kick myself if they never get to come over here again that I discovered them two weeks before if I'd have discovered them the week they were here and there were still tickets I'd have gone down no questions about it if I'd have just listened to three songs and were like the plane in England next Saturday going and going but it's a shame they've not come back yet Hopefully this year, please God, this year, just let the world sort itself out and we can get tours and things again. Their two um, live concerts they did were really, really good, really good. The first one was just more of them just with, you know, doing their normal stage things. The second one with a live band was absolutely fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And the, the special stages they do, you can probably find some of them on, on YouTube. They'll probably never get properly fully released, but their, their stages that they did, especially for the live band, because they all dressed up as characters. So fun, so fun, and some shocking. <laughs> Just uh, there's not much I can say about these girls. I absolutely adore them. But one of the one of the things I want to do with this channel is push Dreamcatcher. Get more people to see them, more people to just understand how amazing these girls are not just like musically and vocally and all that like they're absolutely fantastically talented but just to get them known as personalities because they're not they're not on shows as much there were a couple of them this uh, last year but they're not they're not around as much as some of the other bands but they're not given that opportunity which is a crying shame because i think any show that has them on will benefit from it because they're absolutely chaotic i would say watch some of their, uh, I think it's Fact in a Star episodes were really good. And last year for, I think it was Scream, they did an episode of Idol House. Um, it's like 45 minutes long. I'll put a link to that in the description. That is so much fun. I've actually re-watched that this week. It, uh, um, I wanted to watch it again. So yeah, if you don't know Dreamcatcher, you're sleeping on possibly one of the best bands you will ever hear. And if you disagree with me, fuck off. <laughs> but you won't you won't they're absolutely fantastic um so if there's any insomnias out there let me know what you what your favorite era is for me like i i first heard them my first two songs were you and i and what so they hold a special place to me because it's like that that's what brought me in and suckered me in straight away and then I, I went through and watched everything in order after doing some google searching and finding out there's a storyline and all this stuff so like those two stand out to me because it's, it's what brought me in but I do think the songs this year have been absolutely strong. I think uh, Dystopia, uh, Tree, Tree of Language um, album, the full album is just an amazing listen because it shows the range these girls are. They're not just rock that can do anything given to them perfectly. So let me know your favourite eras. Even if it's not a favourite era, maybe a favourite concept. My favourite concept is... Uh, from Trio Language, where they're in the hippie hobo thing, look like that to me is just the look absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. So, yeah, let me know. So, thanks for watching. I think we're going to get a lot more years with Dreamcatcher. Um, like, share, subscribe, do all that YouTube jazz, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.